So Isabella, thank you so much for coming to speak to us um, about patients that experience loose teeth. I'm curious because I've come across quite a few patients that you've asked me um, to see for an orthodontic opinion that started um, their treatment with you, not because they were unhappy with crookedness of their teeth, but because they started experiencing loose teeth. Yes. It, it happens so often around, I would say, the age of around 40 to 50, or sometimes, unfortunately, even earlier. Patients normally see their holiday pictures, for example, and they look at the pictures and they say, ooh, but I've got black triangles, I've got my teeth have suddenly moved and they're completely flared up. I wasn't like this before, and what has happened is that gum disease has kicked in throughout the years. And if the gum disease is not diagnosed in, on time, then this is what happens. It continues ongoing. And that's why we have to be really, really precise in picking it up immediately. And what might the patient see that would be a worrying sign or symptom that should alert them to the fact that they have gum disease? I mean, maybe before the teeth start moving, what should they look for? Well, first of all, uh, the bleeding from the gums when you brush your teeth, that is very, very crucial. You have to see whether your gums bleed, and that is the very first, very, very easy sign. Okay. And the second one is... If you notice that your teeth start moving, and you notice them because you start suddenly have spaces in between the teeth, especially the upper ones or even the lower, you literally have spaces. And this means that the teeth are moving and there is a mobility. So there is so much uh, around this that we need to capture from your side and from my side as well. And as usual, the teamwork yes. really works well. Yes. So by the time the patients come to me, they've undergone a course of periodontal treatment yes. with you. How long does that normally last for you to stabilize the patient? Okay, so the good news is that if we pick up the gum disease very early, we can treat it in a non-surgical way, which obviously means non-invasive. So the non-surgical therapy usually is done in one go and it lasts for at least four to six months. Okay. Then of course, it can only be just one if the patient then maintains on the long term. So from the moment I give the green light and say the gum disease is under control and it's your turn to put the teeth back into shape. I think two patients come to mind particularly. One lady had perfectly straight teeth all her life and actually started noticing the six front teeth coming forwards. Mm. I assume because there's not so much bone at the front and the tongue pushes the teeth forwards. There was another lady who looked in the mirror one day and noticed that this tooth here was sticking out yes. and she just thought this isn't me anymore. And I know both of those patients had treatment with you for about two to three months and then they came to see me and the orthodontic treatment is aimed at bringing the teeth back to their original position yes. so literally turning back the hands of time and uh, I think one of them gave me a picture, a wedding picture from ten years before and of said course. please could you bring me back to this That's which, very which, which we can do. And it is very important that after your treatment we continue our maintenance program Okay. because we don't want these patients who we consider susceptible of course to gum disease because yes. at the end of the day it's still there but we can control it. Okay. So in fact we can cure it, we can treat it but then we have to maintain it over time. Okay. So during the orth so they they're having two to three months of treatment with you to get rid of the disease, then they come to see me for the orthodontic treatment to move the teeth back to their original positions. And during that time, I of course ask them to see you three yes. monthly just to keep a track of things. And then in the long term, how often would you say the visits would be in terms of frequency yes. to ensure those teeth stay healthy? Normally the regime and the protocol is very strict and they must see a hygienist, a professional hygienist, wait every at least every three months. Okay. This is normally the protocol. It could be four months depending on how well this patient cleans or not. Okay. And then I would see them on a regular basis between the six months time frame and the one year time frame. So okay. it could well be that I see them once a year, but at least we are on top of everything. And if we see there's a rebound or for some reason there is something that is not going as it should we are ready to, to to treat it immediately okay and the last question is if a patient say 43 years old female for example sees bleeding of the gums and doesn't really have much pain and does nothing what would eventually happen well, in reality, unfortunately, gum disease continues. And gum disease, at the very end, causes tooth loss. Right. So you lose your teeth. And the problem is that gum disease disappears once the tooth is lost. Because by definition, 
Ah, uh, there's then, no more gum then, around the there's tooth. There's no more gum around the tooth. Right, there's and, no more tooth, right. And the problem is that once we lose our tooth, as you know, yes. that's the final set. So, yes. Okay. You really need to be quick in diagnosing. Okay, well, anyone that has bleeding out there, they should definitely. Uh, or wobbly teeth. Uh, or wobbly teeth. <laughs> They're the two signs that yes. you need to not ignore if you like to have a life with teeth, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much, Isabella, for coming welcome. to speak to us about loose Thank teeth. You. Thank you.